Hi, it's Greta from Attention Insight. Today, we will look at the landing page on Figma and will learn how we can change it for a clearer design and a better clarity score. Let's open Figma and here we can see an artboard of a landing page above the fold. I will test it through the Attention Insight app by selecting Plugins, Attention Insight, Analyze Design. Now we can see heat maps and clarity score. Heat maps show us the attention that objects get. In order to find out more detailed results, we will press Get more insight. Now we will draw areas of interest, heading, text, CTA, which is already automatically selected, and visual. We can see percentage of attention of each element. Heading is 37%, text 6%, CTA 3%, and visuals 43%. Clarity score is 73%. The design looks slightly overloaded and hard to read because of a particular placement of the elements. For this reason, the right idea would be to improve the clarity score by adjusting the elements. We will try to make the text more readable and the general design clearer with a fresher look. On the Figma platform, I will create a copy of the artboard. We can adjust the sizes of design elements and balance out the white space. This should help us to get the result we want and increase the clarity score. Let's make some changes. On this landing page, 12 column grid was applied, which was made according to the rule of 8, where size of both, margin and gutter, divides from 8. This grid helps us to see where the center of a design is and to more consistently and easily distribute design elements within the design. Even though it is already symmetrically balanced, this design could get clearer and more attractive as well as have more spark if we arrange sizes of the elements. Here, I will minimize the size of the photographs and the heading. To improve the white space, we can adjust gaps between the heading, the text and the CTA button and the area around the text block and around the visuals. I will put the baseline grid on according to the rule of 8. We can estimate the space from the navigation bar to the visuals. Let's make it 96%. We can also adjust the text block according to the visuals. Let's make sure that all the elements are in alignment with the baseline grid. We should also check whether the margins are adjusted accordingly. In this case, I will make sure all the figures divide by 8. I will remove the grid. Now we can see that the whole design is cleaner, clearer, more pleasant to the eye, and each element has more white space. Now, it makes it easier for the design to be read, and the overall feeling is more sophisticated. Let's test the new version of a design with the Attention Insight app. The clarity score is now 77%. We will click Get more insights and will compare the results between two versions of a design. I will draw area of interest on the new design and compare the results by clicking Create new comparison. CTA button visibility has grown from 3 to 5% which is important for the overall design. The percentage of the heading slightly decreased, which doesn't make a big difference in our case. In contrast, the percentage of the text remained the same and the visibility of the visuals decreased 1%. Most importantly, we can see that the clarity score increased 4%. We adjusted the sizes of the elements and the distribution of the white space which created more harmony in the design with symmetrical balance within the layout and the sizes of the elements. This let us achieve the desired results and reached the overall goal. Thank you for watching and see you in my next videos.